Race number one at Crawford is a benchmark 70 over the 1,200 metres, and Buse is on top for mine, and I'm very confident on his chances. I think he ties all the form in here. 280 is an absolutely ripping price. Celine takes the weight off. He'll be storming home. He could even sit right behind the leaders here, uh, being White Bear. Fowler can go forward. Social Conscience can be up there, and also Magnum Bullet. But look, I just think he's the best horse in the race. He's the best... Uh, horse coming out of the form reference a couple of weeks ago at Call for the race where it was in he was in a photo finish with Oracle Sun, Oracle Sun just getting the bob. So I think Bruce has every horse in that race covered. White Bear, clear second pick, think it could think it can run well and improve. Pure Paradise has been running well. Got the win on the board last start, as it did two starts ago in his campaign. Can run well here, and Thala in for fourth. But Buse for mine, race one. He does look a standout. I'm happy to have him on top 45 the win in the first. Race number two at Caulfield's a benchmark 70 over the 1800 metres and I've got Tommy on top. Now, I originally had Moya Lass on top, but I had Tommy a clear second pick. But I've gone with Tommy because I just think Moya Lass might get a tad too far back from the wide draw. Because they're going to have to go back from that draw. And I think from the wide draw, Tommy can come out running. He'll be up on speed. That's where he was at Bendigo. He's a front runner. He's going to be very hard to beat. Stepping up in trip to the 1800 metres. Uh, from the 1600, I think, I would think it was 1600 metres first up. Yeah, 1600 metres first up, and I think can prove hard to beat running running it up on speed to suit itself. Moyles will be charging home. Clear second pick for mine. Splash back and rebadge next best. Two horse race. Tommy Moyles, one of the two of them will win. And I've got my strategy on both of them, but I'm just leading the way of Tommy with the map. 10 the win on Tommy and 8 the win on Moyles. Race 2, Caulfield. Race number three at Caulfield is the Vobus Gold Mile over this 1600 metres, the first of the Vobus races on this card. Now I'm with Pounding on top. I don't think the weight's going to be any issue. Barry number nine will be okay. Second up, we're in a storm of first up. If there's no second up syndrome, it'll be proving hard to beat. It's the best horse in the race I think can win. Barbie's Fox is another one that can win. Its form just screams off the page at you, even though it's out of form. It's been racing in Group 1 Company in Sydney, and so for mine, hasn't been going that badly, Bo. The day that Pounding and Barbie's Fox met, Barbie's Fox had the easier run, where Pounding was three wide for the trip in the Doncaster of last year, and I think that plays more into Pounding's favour. New York Hurricane, I thought, was over the odds at $10, and can run well. Fourth up, hard, fifth up, hard fit. And Chartra had no luck first up. I'm just curious to see what this horse can do here. But I'm with Pounding in the gold mile. I'm pretty confident it'll be winning 35 to do so race number four at Caulford is the Vobus gold this stuff over the 1400 minutes and I'm with Nikoni on top I thought it was a very smart win from this horse first up second up here um uh can run really really well and I think can be winning I'd rather have it over the rest of the field clearly that's why I've got it on top Papillon club for second uh, had no luck last start, just forget the run, was very good first up, taking ground of extra two at Mooney Valley, third up, Ken run well, extra two I thought was under the odds at 390, but Ken still win, and Matron Bullwinkle in for fourth, has a bit of class on her side on her day, and is a very good first up horse, and is over, probably over the odds at $14, but I'm with Nate Coney in the gold this stuff, not a, really, not a race I really want to get involved in, but I've got the mare on top, and I think she can run it really, really well, 50 in the win on Nate Coney. Race number five at Caulfield is the Vobus Gold Heath over the 2,000 metres and a past winner of the race in T-Waters is here, but I don't think he can win. Barkley Square on top for mine. He is clearly the one to beat. Oh, so clearly the one to beat. Fifth up, hard fit. Luke Curry in the saddle has ridden it uh, most of its campaign this time. He knows the horse well now. Uh, and I think if this horse doesn't win this, you can just ride him off. He'll never win another race. This is his race to lose very confident on his winning chances, and I think he just brings the best form, and his class can prove hard to beat here. Running second behind um, Young Verther in the Tab Australian Cup Prelude, beating Este Finney the, the morning in Cup winner, then went to the Easter Cup and ran a good race. Probably not on a track that suited him all in the best grade and ran really well. Beaten in length and a quarter, and I think that can prove hard to beat here. Back to what is honestly a benchmark 70 in grade. Regal Asmon for a second, can run really well. Let's be frank, baby. Don't know where it's going and where how well it's going, and Quay Quay will be up on speed for a long way. But Barkley Square to win the Bobus Gold Heath, I like it. 
Race number six at Caulfield is the Verbus Platinum Guineas over 1,600 metres, and I'm with Modown on top, and I think it's going to prove hard to beat. Can settle off a likely hot tempo, set in front by Gornsky, Sox Nation, Elphinstone, Eugenius can be up, up there, pardon me, and I think he can take running down. He's been oh so impressive this campaign, um, and I think he can take a fair bit of beating here because he announced himself as a good horse when he ran second at Schwartz over the carnival at Fleming and then didn't handle the track at Coolford over the 1,600 metres and has been flying since. Last start run over the 1,400 metres of Bendigo in the Bendigo Guineas was impressive. And I think he can run really well here. And Alphonston had the better run than him where he had to pull wide and Alphonston just went up the inside. So that's the reason why Alphonston beat him. But I think he has that horse's measure. Sox Nation's been up forever. And Willa Below, $41 is over the odds for a horse that early looks to have a fair bit of talent. And the blinkers going on, I think, could explode here. Though mow down for mine in the Platinum Guineas, I think can win $25 to do so. Race number seven at Caulfield is the Vobus Gold Sprint over the 1,200 metres, and I'm with Jigsaw on top. There's no speed in this race. There's no uh, horse you can say, right, that's the leader. Bar Jigsaw, maybe Similion, but I think Jigsaw will find the front first and bully them in front. That's the way he can win his races. He can get up on speed, dictate, and run them along. He's going to have to do that here with the big weight, though. He only concedes the bottom weight um, for... for Four kilos, and I think that's not enough to turn around. You know, he's been running well, and I think personally he's the one to beat clearly here. General Bow for second has been running well, beating him. He's beaten him on his last two starts, though. I think Jigsaw can have General Bow's measure with the map. Karen's out. Now replace that with Ray McNeera and the Astrologist in for fourth. He's a good horse on his day, though. Yeah, where is he at? I'm not sure, Bo. He is classy. Back to this grade. I'm with Jigsaw in the Verbus Gold Sprint 40 the win. Race number eight at Caulfield is the Vobus Platinum Showdown, the main race of the day, and I'm with Bold Bastille. I, you know, there are a lot of people are taking this horse on, and I can't see why. 1,200 metres might be the only creep, but it's been winning dominantly over the 1,000 and 1,100 metres, and 1,200 is not the creep for mine. Barry number three, perfect, up on speed, bullies them, just like Jigsaw will do in the previous four from five. He's a, this horse is an absolute standout filly, and I think can prove hard to beat here and win another feature race and look forward to the spring. Stanley Express is the only one I can see beating the favourite, but... Is, has drawn wide, and it's the only reason I haven't got Stanley Express on top. If it had drawn a barrier, it must, Stanley Express would be in my on top selection. Way over the odds at $17, though. The map looks a query. Cosmic Ride, Center Square next best, but Bowl Bash still on top, quite clearly for mine. 50 the win, but Stanley Express, if there's going to be a blowout, he's the one in the Vobus Showdown. Race number nine at Caulfield is the Vobus Gold Dash over the 1200 meters, and Iron with Hedged on top just looks a clear. Clear class edge on these. Ran second a jolly star last start in Sydney in the Arrowfield Sprint, and I think that can prove hard. That form can prove hard to beat coming back to Melbourne. Uh, Barrier number four, perfect. Will be up on speed um, with Sell You, and I think can prove hard to beat. Bit of a theme for the day. I'm liking on speed runners. Uh, the hedge just looks a like class above here. Moby Dick for second. We'll be charging at him late, and I was. Spewing that it was beaten last start because I was pretty keen on him last start. I think he can run well here though. Faces a class horse and hedged. Acid Wash will be up on speed for a long way for Celine Gordry, Clinton McDonald, and Sally. Another one that'll be up on speed for a long way. But I went hedged in the Vobus Gold Dash. Looks too classy for these. 30 the win. Race number 10 to finish the day is a handicap over the 1400 meters, and I've got Times Square on top to finish the day. I think this horse can prove hard to beat. Um, surprise has drifted out in the market, probably because it's only first up, though it's an extensive troll and jump out work to get ready for this start. Uh, he might want further in time, but I think 1,400 metres first up. Look, he ran over the 1,400 metres when he was first up in the uh, Doncaster Prelude of last year. He's had a year off, but I still think with that amount of work that's gone into him, he can prove hard to beat here. Kieran Mars is a man that can get these horses ready to go. And I think can prove hard to beat. The boat devoted for second, I think can run really well. King Magnus loves Caulford and, and is a winning chance. And Bankmore will be up on speed for a long way at $11. Open race the last, but I'm going with Times Square. 15 each way to finish the day. Thank you everyone for watching my preview for Vobis Day. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week uh, for Warnable for the three-day carnival. I can't wait for that. And I can't wait for next Saturday either. Not sure what the meeting is. 
back here at Corford, I'm pretty sure. But thank you again for watching my PV, and I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week.